Hello, my name is Miss Candace from the University of Arkansas Division of Agriculture. At the University of Arkansas Division of Agriculture, we teach kids how to live healthy lives. And today, with the help from the Oregon Wise Guys, we're going to talk about how each of our organs are affected by the way that we live our lives and what we can do to keep them healthy. Raise your hand if you've heard of the Oregon Wise Guys. If you haven't, I'll be introducing them as we go through this presentation. They have all kinds of fun programs and books about how to live a healthy lifestyle. I'd like to start off by introducing you to Sir Rebram. Which organ in the body do you think he is? He's really smart and he lives inside of your head. That's right, Sir Rebram is the brain. Recently, Sir Rebram was doing his daily health research and he came upon something very interesting. It's called Choose My Plate. So Sir Rebram printed out a copy so he could have it when he met with the rest of the Oregon Wise Guys and he called them in for a special club meeting. Now before we go any further, let's meet the rest of the guys. You already know the one leading the meeting. What was his, what was his name again? Sir Rebram, very good. Okay, let's start with this little green one. You probably won't know who he is. This organ is not very well known, but he performs a very important function. He helps control the sugars in your body can anyone guess what he is? He's the pancreas. This is Peter Pancreas. And what about the orange one with the goggles? This part of your body makes pepsin and is where the food goes when you eat it. Do you know what he is? Very good. That, he's the stomach. His name is Pepto the stomach. And what about this little blue one with the yellow wing looking things? This is where the air goes in your body when you take a deep breath. Do you know what that is? The lungs. Her name is Wendy. Then we have this big pink guy. He gets all pumped up when kids exercise. That's Hardy the Heart. And he is the Oregon Wise Guys Club President. And behind Hardy is Perry Stolic. She is your large intestine. She is the last place that your food goes right before it leaves your body. The tall pink one next to Hardy, this is Madam Muscle. And right next to Madam Muscle is Luigi the Liver. Luigi the Liver is kind of like the director in your body. And right behind Luigi is this big, tall, white one. Do you know what she is? Very good. That's a bone. Her name is Calcium Bone. Finally, what about these little two purple guys? These two organs are twins. Their job is to filter out and eliminate toxins in the blood. They need lots of water to work well. Do you know what organ they are? These are the kidneys, also known as the Kidney Brothers, Sid and Kid Kidney. So now that we know all of the members of the Oregon Wise Guys team, it's time for Sir Rebram to present his findings to the club. Sir Rebram was eager to hear about what the others thought about my plate. Wendy piped in. It's a simple and colorful design. It's easy to understand, said Madame Muscle. It gets to the heart of the matter of eating healthy and it will make eating fun, exclaimed Hardy. The Kidney Brothers want to make sure it fits into the Oregon Wise Guys Club rules. Ms. Vaughn, can you teach us those rules? The Oregon Wise Guys Club rules include low fat, high fiber, 
lots of water, and exercise. So you can join me in a little um, activity that helps us remember those rules. So everybody stand up, push your chairs in. Now I'm gonna model this and then you can repeat after me. So we're gonna go low fat, high fiber, lots of water, and exercise, okay? We're gonna do it all together. Low fat, high fiber, lots of water, exercise. One more time. Low fat, high fiber, lots of water, exercise. Great job. So go ahead and um, take a seat. It didn't take long for each Oregon Wise guy to pick out which section of my plate they wanted to research. Kelsey M. Bone made a mad dash for the dairy section. Perry Stolick pushed her way through the crowd and went straight to the grain section. Wendy and Pepto planned to work together on the vegetables. Hardy and Madam Muscle strong-armed their way to the protein section. And Peter Pancreas decided on his favorite sweet treat, the fruit section. The Kidney Brothers have already decided they should be the project coordinators and head straight for the club fun jar to grab some cash to head out shopping in search of healthy my plate foods. Let me give you a little background on the Kidney Brothers. Sid and Kid Kidney are twins, identical twins. As you know, identical means exactly alike, and that is exactly how they look, identical. They may look alike, however, they definitely have two very dis different personalities. All of their lives, Kid Kidney has been more of a serious kid when it comes to organization, while Sid is a little more free-spirited and, well, a little more wild. So for this important project, Kid wanted to be sure they were organized. He carefully labeled all of the shopping bags so they would be sure to put the foods in the correct My Plate food groups. It started off well, but before Kid knew it, Sid was in full gear and somewhat wild. Kid was doing the best he could to keep things organized. Once back at the clubhouse, it was time to show Kelsey and Bone all of the dairy items they had found. At first, it seemed like all was well, but unfortunately, two of the items just didn't belong. I do think Sid may have gone a little too fast at the store. Two of these foods just don't belong. Can you decide which two foods don't belong in the dairy section? If you guessed whole wheat bread, you were right. If you guessed egg, you were also right. As for the other foods in this section, be sure, be sure to choose a variety of them and also make sure that they are the low fat option. Low fat yogurt, low fat or skim milk, low fat cheese, and even your favorite brand of low fat ice cream. Next is the fruit section. We've got a banana, an apple, a carrot, a watermelon, cherries, and what is that other one at the bottom? Very good, it's a sweet potato. Once again, two of these items don't belong. Everyone look and see which one you think are not fruits. The carrot and the sweet potato. These belong in the vegetable section. Eating healthy fruits completely fit with the first three Oregon Wise Guys rules. Low fat, high fiber, lots of water. I bet you didn't know that fruits are loaded with water and that makes the Kidney Brothers so happy. Also, Peristolic would like to thank you for eating lots of fruits and vegetables every day. Here we have the vegetable section. The first one is broccoli. The next one is a carrot. Then we have cauliflower, kiwi, spinach, and the last one is a strawberry. 
Okay, can you decide which two don't belong in the vegetable group? Are you ready? The strawberry and the kiwi. This group of foods not only fits naturally into the Oregon Wise Guys rules of low fat, high fiber, but another one as well, lots of water. Next up is the grain section. We've got brown rice, whole wheat pasta or noodles, whole wheat bread, whole wheat crackers, beans, cereal, an egg, and a taco shell. Which two foods do you think don't belong? The beans and the egg. Now just how does this fit into our club rules? For one, grains are naturally low in fat. Good job. In addition, you can choose whole grain foods such as whole wheat bread, oatmeal, and whole grain cereals, which also fall under rule number two, high fiber. The last section from Madam Muscle and Hardy Heart is the protein section. For Madam Muscle and Hardy Heart, they brought back beans, chicken, tomato, olive oil, egg, and fish. And again, two of these food items just don't belong. Everyone focus really hard and decide which two don't belong. The tomato doesn't belong in the protein section. And the olive oil doesn't belong. Very good. In keeping with the Oregon Wise Guys Club rules, be sure to choose lean proteins. Hardy and Cerebrum want to take a minute to talk about good fats. Not all fats are bad. The fats in fish, nuts, and extra virgin olive oil are all good for your heart and brain. Our bodies do need fat. They just need the good kinds. All right, are you ready to test your MyPlate skills? Cerebrum has designed a few questions to see if you will be able to put specific foods into the correct section of my plate. He has labeled them fruits number one, vegetables number two, proteins number three, grains number four, and dairy number five. So let's see if you know which foods go in which groups. The first slide we have an apple and some peanut butter. In your head, decide which part of the plate you think the apple should go. What did you guess? If you guessed fruit, you were right. Now where do you think the peanut butter should go? Are you ready? Peanut butter is a protein. Next up, we have some brown rice and some beans. Okay, think about where the brown rice should go. Have you picked? Number four, very good. Brown rice go in the grain section. And what about the beans? The beans go in the vegetables and the protein section. Now we have some carrots and broccoli. In which section do you think the carrots should go? Very good, they both go in the vegetable section. Here we have an egg and some low fat yogurt. These are foods that I love to include when my breakfast. In which my plate section would the egg be found? And what about the yogurt? The egg is a protein and yogurt is a dairy. Very good. Calcium bone will be cheering you on for choosing calcium rich dairy options. 
Okay, now we've got some corn and chicken. Which sections do you think they'll go into? Corn goes to vegetables, and the chicken is a protein. Good job. Now we've got some whole grain pasta and some tomatoes. Which section do they go to? The pasta goes to grains, and the tomatoes go to the vegetable section. Okay, I think this is the last one. What about water? Can you figure out what section water goes into? This one has me a little puzzled. Let's see if you can get it right. That's right, it doesn't go in any of them. But there's an easy way for us to remember this. There are five food groups on my plate, but you have to have six glasses of water each day. So you better drink up. Okay, now who's ready to take a break? Well, let's take a break and do some review with Miss Fawn before the end of our lesson. Okay, go ahead and stand up, push your chairs in. We have a little activity to do. So I'm gonna say a line and you'll repeat it after me. The fun part is we're gonna do it while we march. So go ahead and get your marching legs ready. Here we go. My plate's a guide to help me eat. Now let's review as we move our feet. Fruits and veggies make half your plate. To keep organ wise guys feeling great. Now we pick some healthy proteins. An assortment of meats, nuts, and beans. And when choosing foods made from grains, whole is best because the fiber remains. Dairy is milk, yogurt, and cheese. Keep bones strong with plenty of these. My plate's a healthy eating tool. Now let's review the Oregon Wise Guys rules. Low fat, high fiber, lots of water, exercise. Low fat, high fiber, lots of water, exercise. Hello and welcome back. I encourage you to take a look around the room. Is there anyone here who looks just like you? Maybe think of a sibling or some friends. Our bodies look different on the outside, but on the inside, they look the same. There are a few instances when our bodies may not look the same on the inside as someone else's, but for the most part, they have, we all have the same organs. Today, I'm joined by the Organ Wise Gal, and, she, and we're gonna learn a little bit more about the organs inside our bodies. The Organ Wise Gal is a doll, and inside of her are the Organ Wise Guys. Now, these are characters that represent the organs that actually exist inside of our bodies. So you might see that these characters have smiling faces, or they're wearing shoes, or they have arms and legs. And the organs inside our bodies don't actually have those things, but these characters are a fun way to help us learn about the important functions and foods for our organs. Are you ready? Let's get started. First off, the Organ Wise Guys Club Leader Hardy Heart. Hardy Heart has a very important job. He pumps the blood all around our bodies. So do you remember his favorite food group? It's protein. So Hardy Heart is like a big muscle and he pumps the blood, he pumps the blood all around our bodies. Next up, 
is Wendy the lungs. So Wendy, she likes fresh fruits and vegetables and clean air. Contaminated air like smoky air or dusty air makes it hard for her to do her job. But clean, fresh air is, is her favorite. So everybody, let's take a deep breath. <sighs> Great job, Wendy the lungs. Up next, we have Pepto the stomach, right? This is the first place our food goes when we swallow something, okay? It comes down through our throat and into our stomach. The stomach has lots of fluids inside of it that help us to digest the foods that we eat so we can get all of those nutrients out of the food so our body can do it, can function. So, Pepto, there is a fluid inside the stomach called pepsin, which is where he gets his name. So he mixes the food up with all these fluids and he can squish it around a little bit, right? Mash it up and it helps digest the food. And then it goes down through the bottom to <clears throat> continue down the digestive tract. Then where does it go? The large intestine, right? Peristolic. So the food goes from the stomach through the digestive system, gets into the large intestine. That's the last place the food goes before it leaves our bodies. So the large intestine really likes fruits and vegetables and whole grains because these foods have fiber in them and fiber helps peristaltic to do her job. Up next, We have Luigi the liver. Luigi, he has a little hat on top, right? So he is a director in the body. The liver is like a director in the body uh, because it helps the body to remove toxins. So any poisons in the body, it removes those. And it also helps all the organs work together. Who remembers the Kidney Brothers? Right? Sid and Kid Kidney. Sid and Kid Kidney, they do not have a favorite food group, but what is their favorite? They have a favorite drink and it's water. The kidneys are like a water treatment plant for our bodies. So it's very important that we drink lots of water so that they can do their job. What about Peter Pancreas? Peter Pancreas has a favorite food group. It's dessert. What's his, what is his favorite dessert? Fruit, okay? Our, our pancreas processes the sugars in our body. So when we eat sweet treats like cookies and cakes and pies or soda or a candy bar, Peter Pancreas has to work really, really hard. Okay? We're giving him lots of sugar that he needs to process. Well, if we consume, if we eat and drink um, a lot of high sugar foods or drinks, um, he has to work all the time and he can actually get tired. So he doesn't do such a great job. When he gets worn out, he can't process the sugars in our body the way that he's supposed to. So. Peter Pancreas' favorite dessert is fruit. Who do we have in here? Calci M. Bone, okay? Calcium bone has a favorite food group. Do you remember what it is? Calcium bone's favorite food group is dairy. Dairy has lots of calcium, right? And that is what our bones need to grow really strong. We have so many bones in our body. If you had to guess how many bones are in your body, what would you guess? Hmm, 100? 
200. There are 206 bones in our bodies. Isn't that amazing? Who might be in this side? Madam muscle. Now, the muscle is not actually an organ, but she's part of the Organ Wise Guys Club because she, we have to have our muscles in order to be able to pick up heavy things or to pull things, okay? So our muscles enable our bodies to move. So the favorite food group of Madam Muscle is protein, kind of like hearty heart, right? It's a hearty heart, it's like a big muscle. So, Madam Muscle's favorite food group is protein. There's one more very important organ that we have talked about. What are we missing? Hmm, it's inside of our heads, right? It's like a computer, does lots of thinking, provides our bodies with messages through nerves. So here we have cerebrum, it's the brain, okay? Cerebrum does not have a favorite food group, but he has a favorite meal. So breakfast is actually the most important meal for our brains. So when we get up in the morning and we're getting ready for school, it's really important that we have breakfast so that we can think it also improves our mood. Down here, it looks like he has a little tail, okay? This is the brain stem. So all the messages that start up here in the brain that go out to the body come through this brain stem. It's really important that when we do things like ride a bicycle, maybe ride a horse, or play a contact sport like football, that we wear helmets to help, help protect our brains and our brain stems. Okay, have a good day.